Wikimedia Finland, and we have uh, during this year started working with with the Sami communities, the culture and language, um, starting experimenting, doing the groundwork for future projects. Well, actually, she started working this year. I've been working since 2006. Oh, yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that is at the end of the chapter. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Yep. Here we go. Let's see what we have. <laughs> We have to. Know which one it is. The Just uh, on the, with the like this. Which one of your presentations? Yeah, this yeah. one. Yep. Yeah. So, usually when we give presentations, we realize nobody knows what we're talking about the Sami languages. So, this is Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia. And the yellow part, and it starts quite far down here, is the Sami dialect continuum or language continuum. And the languages that have Wikipedias are five, or there's actually only one, Northern Sami Wikipedia. And then the other languages that we work with are six and seven. And Jon Harald is from Wikimedia Norway, and they work with the other ones in Norway and Sweden. And the Northern Sami one. Um, San Yanam is the name for this area in Skolt Sami. This is somehow... <laughs> yeah. So. Oh yes. Um, uh, while thinking about how to serve these language communities, as Kimberly was showing, there maybe we'll go back to the back to the 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 map. The biggest uh, language community in Sami area is the the northern Sami, and. When we think of Sami, we think of Northern Sami, but there are at least eight other Sami communities and language groups. So we are working with two, at, which is uh, here, it's Inari Sami, as well as uh, Skold Sami, they both have around 300 speakers. So we cannot expect, now going to the next slide, there are two different types of uh, language communities, those that have Wikipedias and therefore are served within the Wikimedia ecosystem, and those that don't have a Wikipedia, and therefore it's much more difficult for them. And we find that uh, working with structured data, we can serve these language communities, communities as well. So Kimberly may tell you about this, this, uh, this sticker that you have had. So the sticker says in Skolt Sami, which is spoken by about 300 people, it says, Wikimedia Finland wishes everyone a happy United Nations um, International Year of Indigenous Languages 2019. And the sticker was created for an event that we went to at the end of August in northern Finland. Yeah, that's it. So, so, so it, it wasn't that easy. So we started uh, setting up... Um, uh, language code for Skolt Sami and Inari Sami and found out that it's not a straightforward process. It's not really documented. It was really, really hard to find out how to do it. So we made this elephant um, um, metaphor here as a reindeer. So, so there are different parts of this uh, Wikimedia environment that look at some specific area of this language, um, language um, definitions and there doesn't seem to be an overall way and process of how to deal with adding new languages. So um, what we did was we made a lot of noise and tried to, tried to ask everyone to help us. And in the end, we, were ma we, we managed to first have uh, Skolt Sami and Inari Sami for, for monolingual properties, then uh, to labels in Wikidata, and then t only to find out that they wouldn't work in structured data on commons. And then <clears throat> again, after another process for that, uh, maybe six months, months after, we find out that they wouldn't work in Wikipedias. So um, I think we, that's still unsolved. Yeah. When we first started, you could only use Northern Sami and Southern Sami in Wikimedia projects. And as a, a bonus part of this, we have now the ability to use uh, the Finnish Romani language also within the, within the Wikimedia projects. This, trying to get your language to be, that 
the, the ability to be able to use your language in a Wikimedia project is not straightforward. It's really difficult. And when you talk to people, they're like, oh, yeah, I'll fix it. It'll take me five minutes. And then, yeah, it takes them five minutes to fix one thing, but then the next thing is it's not working. The next thing, something else breaks, things like that. And if we are people who are, have been in the Wikimedia projects forever can't figure <laughs> out how the, this thing works and how to get things straightforward, um, forwardly working, then we can't ex accept, um, expect communities, language communities that aren't uh, familiar with the Wikimedia projects to be able to figure out where to start and how to navigate this process. It's not possible. And there are actual pages that people are like, oh yeah, there's a page for this. And you're <laughs> like, but it doesn't come up in Google search, for instance. So it's not findable. <laughs> yeah. That? yeah, that's fine. So, so, well, we tried to come up with some, some uh, things that should be looked into. This is not an exhaustive list, uh, but well, Obviously, the, the process needs to be streamlined. Yeah. And, the, and well, you can the one that I really hate are the language codes. Because, for instance, I did research with Tundra Nanets, which is a specific language of its own. And there is no ISO code for it. There is an ISO code for Nanets. And they've lumped together two different languages that are completely unintelligible to each other. And so wiki media projects use ISO codes for these type of things. And we really think that there should be a more fine-grained level to this. Um, for Skolt Sami, even though there's only 300 people that speak it, we have a lot of data for it. And there's four main dialects. And the words aren't the same in the four dialects. So I would really like to be able to put, this is from the Patsyok dialect, this is from the Swanyel dialect, and that type of stuff. But we can't do that. We can't do that for Spanish. We can't do it for English, even. And so something has to be done about the language codes in the, in the Wikimedia projects. Yeah, and something that started to happen, I think, is uh, to engage maybe the, the broader um, language, linguist, uh, language communities into the decision-making process. And maybe they're like the decisions that need to be made, the bureaucracy maybe has to be somehow assessed. Like, what, what are the decisions that are needed? in this sphere, like, does the, what are the application processes? What are the, um, yeah, so. And thanks to Benjamin's presentation today, I think Panlex needs to be added to this too, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. We have individual codes for all the languages you mentioned. Are you using I IETF or? We start, with, we start with ISO 639 codes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you it more, more Good. We'll, we'll talk about more in the extra Q&A then. Yeah, That's if right. we can repeat that for the stream. Uh, because it yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can't. <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can do it after. Right. <laughs> so some of the ways that we work together, we, we work with the communities themselves, and we were invited to this, which is... Um, 70 year anniversary of the Skolts living in Finland. They, they were relocated to Finland from when the border was closed off. And so they've been living in this area for seven years and there was a big party going on and we were there. Um, she was working with little kids putting in Mumi characters in, in the different Sami languages mm -hmm. and different words like that. And do you yeah. Say something else about yeah. That? Well, just to also pinpoint that the, the, we can find new ways of working with uh, data so, or, or language. So we can go to this, well, we can go together with the communities. Yeah. We want to create uh, participatory uh, methods in which we can uh, add more information. I think we have come up with uh, this uh, idea of, or like, term of the pictathons, now that we can work with images or translatathons, which have been done earlier as well. But these are the kinds of events, um, events together with the communities that we can work with the language. So, so yeah, the solutions that we have. Yeah, here, here are two yeah, ideas for next year that we have. We are like developing and seeing what, what can be done with them. And one of them comes um, as a collaborative project together with the Sami archives and the Sa Sami um, 
museum in Inari, in the north of Finland, and uh, we could collect uh, cultural heritage uh, concepts across these Nordic countries in different Sami languages, but not only Sami languages, but also in the Nordic language, because we share a similar cultural heritage uh, history, uh, that we have similar monuments. And this, this, of course, came up with a Wikilovs monuments uh, competition and archaeological finds across the area are similar. <clears throat> and the other one is uh, place names. Uh, that is a, an unfortunate uh, new project starting at Wikimedia Norway that we could expand to be pan, pan Nordic uh, to to include place yeah, names in all this. It's a pan pan Sami. Ooh. <laughs> So these are our depicted thons, and these Skolt Sami, there are thousands of pictures of the Skolt Sami in commons, and they come from different archives, and they have data, the structured data on them is basically from 100 years ago, so it's describing things in the way that they would have been described 100 years ago. We don't want those, those ways of description there anymore, because they, a lot of them are racist, quite racist, and we don't want them. The community doesn't want them community wants to be able to do, write what they want to say about the pictures in their own language, or in Finnish, or Norwegian, or Swedish. And so we've been having depictathons as an idea that, when, um, well, we've done it, but mm. so people can change the captions, change the descriptions of these pictures in commons. And you work with structured data, so I'll let you talk about that. <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, well, well, let's see. Let's see our next slide because, uh, yeah, okay. This is this is just as you well, you all know structured data on commons. So, so for you, this is no no news. Um, and uh, I think well, from these we also enter delicate questions of of what are the descriptions, but we'll come back to that. Um, in the northern Sami, we've been creating um, auto-generated wiki data info boxes. And they've been pulling in data then from Wikidata because I'm the one person that's cor correcting everything in the Northern Sami Wikipedia, and I don't have time to change every mayor, the population of every country, things like that. And and so I've been really blessed with the people that have come up and started helping create these info boxes, and it's expanded the amount of knowledge we have in in the Northern Sami Wikipedia greatly. And so this is Niels Aslak Valkepa, who is one of the most famous Sami multi-talents. He's a polymath. I mean, he was a singer, a writer, an um, artist. And um, we now have this info box there for him, all of the data which is pulled from Wikidata. Um, before we had maybe three lines and no picture. Yeah, form, so. and this uh, applies specifically, of course, to the languages that have a Wikipedia. Yeah, but it doesn't not work to those. Later. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and this is uh, this is quite exciting now. Now, once we have the the um, well, we are w not working with lexicographical data, like s specifically. We we will extend to it, <laughs> but uh, but we are concerned mainly on uh, about labels and items so far. So so what become the, what this um, uh, makes possible are, is tagging content. The museums in museums, libraries, as well as broadcasters, and why I leave the Finnish broadcasting company as as they are already using using Wikidata for tagging. This might be a, an opportunity for the small um, Sami languages in in the Nordic area. And uh, I, I this is my opportunity to show my project Wiki Documentaries as well, because uh, it is an, a project that reads. Uh, well, I, it's difficult to me to change. Let me have some help. <laughs> yeah, there. So, so here we have a page in Wiki Documentaries, which is now in English. This is a project that consumes um, information from the Wikimedia sphere. Every, every page. Every item in uh, Wikidata has a page, and it or like can be made into a page, or is automatically created into a page. And then it gathers all this information across uh, Wikimedia projects. And uh, 
it, uh, the, the interface exists already in like 40 plus languages and I would be able to change the interface and then see the, all this, uh, the same data in another language. And I could also, as you can see, or you were able to see in the English one, that there is no article on this in the English Wikipedia. Therefore, you could go to see which languages it exists. And this one is in Northern Sami. So you would be able to switch only the, the article language. But also then, it all can also display any language that is um, encoded in Wikidata. So, so we also get it in the same page in Skold Sami. Although there is no Wikipedia, you get all the, all the content, the same content in these languages. And there's an, actually an article about her in Skold Sami on the incubator, but it doesn't work with Wiki documentaries because of the way that incub mm -hmm. the incubator is um, encoded. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So. And oh, yep. just briefly, I'm very excited in thinking about an app that, that will gamify this inclusion or like uh, collecting these terms into Wikidata. But I haven't like entered, landed on one, and I'm, I'm sure there are experiences of that across, you know, like this um, community, and it would be interesting to put together our thoughts on that. So there's quite a few challenges that we have in the, these projects. This picture, if you come across it on any Wikipedia, please delete it. <laughs> it's two Finns dressed as Sami people. It's labeled fake Sami clothing, and people still use it on Wikipedia projects. I don't know why. So we have false data, we have racist, and with the Sami, we have a lot of eugenics-based data. So when they were trying to prove that the Sami were lower race so they could sterilize them and things like that, we have a lot of that data because that's the stuff that comes out of archives. Um, data usage, data has been used without the consent of the communities. And for instance, the, the Skolt community was kind of shocked to see that there's rel their relatives are in commons and they weren't very appreciative of it. Um, sensitive data, which Stacy can talk more about. Um, yeah, this is used on the Hungarian Wikipedia. Here's that lovely picture describing that these people are Sami people. Please delete it. Um, yeah. Um, this is more about yeah. what Stacy will talk about. Yeah. So maybe leave, we should leave it to that. you. <laughs> <laughs> sensitive data. TK labels you want to talk about before. Uh, you're not addressing them. Yeah. So uh, I think we could also look into um, identifying content already on commons or just about to enter commons, how to, um, how to tag uh, and, well, identify, tag and perhaps delete or then find out restricting uh, the usage of uh, these, this media. And uh, well, it's very short, but let, let's see what, if if we have uh, more opportunities to discuss that. Yeah. Um, and um, well, we can skip this part. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, I want to say that this is the week of the Sami language week this week. So if, please mm -hmm. feel free to use hashtags for Sami languages. Kiitu Olu. Spasib. Spasib. Antakka.